that's slightly better hi everyone it has been a hot minute and as you can tell i'm not a hundred percent well so whilst i'm getting ready i just thought i would come and chat with you so how many times can i say so ezra has been really poorly he's been in the hospital he had a really really bad chest infection i've actually never known any of my kids or my family's kids to have such a bad one he actually had to go on oxygen and was kept in for a couple of days <coughs> but delightfully he shared it with all of us so that's kind of why i've been mia and then today i'm getting ready because i'm going down to a local hairdresser's and they're going to do my hair for me because uh, if you've been here long enough you know this is the kind of standard it gets thrown up it gets dyed occasionally occasionally i go a bit bit mad with the scissors but yeah so this is the kind of standard at the minute so a lovely guy called luke from a local salon messaged me and asked if i wanted to go in and have my hair done so i'm just getting ready to go down there now but whilst i was doing that the under the sink um pipe decided to start leaking so i've then had to text my landlord we've been trying to fix that which didn't go very well it's only a very very small leak but it will obviously get worse and then we don't really want to use the sink because it's leaking so that's great but yeah tomorrow i have got toy fair so i'm really 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 excited for that but yeah hopefully my hair will look really good which i don't doubt because i've seen his work he's a brilliant hairdresser he's um on instagram and we're going to be doing a reel of him doing my hair so bear in mind the last time i had it done i literally just had it cut i didn't really have anything actually done to it so this guy is called luke breed on instagram oh it's not gonna load let's see if i can do it there you go luke breed on instagram and he's done like a guy from made in chelsea's hair yeah he's really good um so i'm really excited for that and to be honest i haven't told him but i might dye my hair after he's cut it which i'm sure is like most hairdressers like biggest fear <coughs> but yeah, i'm gonna take you guys with me on my phone and i'm gonna bring my camera as well but yeah tomorrow i've got toy fair i'm really excited i'm meeting up with rory um who's now with hitachi 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 Hatashi? Hatachi? Hatashi? He was with Smart Toy Games last year. We've known each other for years through Instagram and Slimming World, um, all of that. So that'd be really nice. I'm meeting up with a few other PR agencies that I've worked with throughout the years. It'd be nice to put a face to the name and to the email address. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, even if I sound like absolute death. So I'm also going to take you guys with me. I'm totally aware that I filmed all that content from top drawer and i have yet to upload it because as soon as i came home from top drawer Ez just basically went down hill he's been poorly for like 10 days before we took him up the hospital he was just really fatigued we were like oh it's just a cold it's fine um but he wasn't getting any better with his antibiotics so yeah when we took him up there there was just all hell broke loose and yeah we basically got to see a lot of harlow hospital but yeah i've got all that content to edit as well and then obviously early march i go away to spain so i'm trying to ramp up the videos so that you've got enough footage to cover you until that you've got enough footage to watch until i go there and then i'm going to hopefully make loads but i'm only there for like three days because i'm only escorting my mum out there because she's a nightmare flying <coughs> but yeah i need to work out how to get rid of this cough really badly really quickly so i'm thinking i'm gonna get some hard boiled sweets and see if that helps but yeah so i'm currently gonna go to my hairdresser appointment i've got this on as well because i've done my thumb in all my joints are really struggling at the minute and i don't know if it's winter or onset arthritis i have a doctor's appointment for it today and i just realized this is a proper like mishmash video of where i'm basically just catching you up on life but yeah my joint my thumb was really hurting like really swollen really hurting so he said put a like band on it and it might be in my chest infection causing it but my knees and my hips have been really painful as well so he's gonna run me a little like body mot later and hopefully we'll see if anything else needs to come of it or if it's just the cold or if i overdid it i don't know but yeah it's making, i'm just falling apart 
um but yeah i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna wear my new ditrich diary hoodie which you will see in the top two videos and you've probably seen on instagram um but yeah i'm really looking forward to hopefully getting some weight out of this hair because it's always been obviously really thick always and unless i do anything with it then it just looks a bit wild i used to have an undercut in as well but that's now grown out i grew it out for the wedding so i don't really know what he's going to do with it but i'm going to let him just go wild with it as long as i have hair i'm not going to complain because i know it'll grow back even if it's like a little bit too short but i grew it so long for the wedding and it's just unmanageable now it's just a bit ratty it's just a bit here there and everywhere like even if i put like half of it up then it gets these lovely curls underneath but i've still got so much of it like for years i've been told that people are envious of my hair because it's thick it's curly all that but it's just unmanageable in reality to be honest that's hence why it's up on top of my head most of the time but yeah i'm gonna go and try and sort out this leak under the sink see if i can at least temporarily fix it because my kitchen's a state actually i'm gonna show you hang on yeah so anyone who knows my house will know this is my kitchen like this isn't a very big kitchen so all this has come out from under the sink and we've literally got the smallest leak in this little section here so i'm hoping praying that my landlord will have seen my text and she'll send somebody out because all of this needs to go back under there it's just an absolute nightmare in my world at the minute if it's not one of us breaking because well i say breaking but obviously falling with illness because nick's full of this as well then it's something in the house it's just one thing after another honestly <coughs> sorry all this talking is obviously apparently killing my throat but yeah i'm gonna take you guys with me on my camera and on my phone so i can try and make some tiktoks as well or like instagram reels but yeah what would you guys like to see this year that's how i'm going to end this segment yeah i'm going to do an alfie days and i'm going to leave you on a question what would you guys like to see from me this year we're going to spain nick and i are going away for my 30th <coughs> we've got a really exciting trip with paradise wildlife park coming up i think that's it really we haven't got an awful lot of stuff going on this year yet but what would you guys like to see would you like to see more beach days more cozy days would you like to see me trying to tackle my mess of a house because i need to have a massive declutter which was my plan for january but we're now on january 25th and i haven't got very far thanks to being ill yeah what would you guys like to see i've got so many products to show you as well like i'm talking like so many we came home from the hospital to stack some parcels so i'm gonna be a busy little bee basically would you like more chatty videos what let me know let me know in the comments and i will see you guys when i get my hair cut see you guys in a little bit bye